The key component of the side-by-side -side sketch easel is the slider clamp. This is the slider clamp. And it has two holes which are tightened and loosened by these small levers and which are fitted to this bar in between here. This is all cu uh, cut from anodized aluminum. These holes are designed to work with 15 millimeter aluminum rod. This is just a small piece of 15 millimeter rod that as you can see goes in there and then we can clamp it down tightly and it won't fall out. Okay, loosen it up and it will come out. What I have done is taken one of those one of the clamps and attached it to these two 15 millimeter rods. These are actually four pieces, I believe, that are joined right here. But as you can see, the clamp is in between in the middle of them. If I loosen this clamp, this rod is now loose, okay? I put it back and tighten it down. We have the side-by-side -side sketch easel clamp. What I have done is taken a standard quick-release plate from Manfrotto And with its one quarter twenty threaded stud right there, I have put that in the middle of this rod clamp, like so. Tightening it down. so that it is tight onto the rod clamp like that, okay? There we are. That is the side-by-side -side easel clamp. Now, I have another one of these which has, gets attached to various other pieces. This happens to be a cigar box with the clamp. And I've modified the cigar box with a little lip here to hold a watercolor block. This opens up so I can store things in it. And I've also made a little flap here so that I can get my watercolor block, set it right here, like this. So that when I wanna sketch, I can do so at this angle or you drop the box down and just sketch or paint while it's flat. Okay. So that's that. Back to the side by side. Now that it has the quick release clamp installed, I can take my tripod
Here's the clamp on my tripod. This is again a Manfrotto clamp. It might be familiar to many of you. And I take this and I place it right in there. Push it down appropriately and boom, it's clamped onto my tripod. And I can turn it, but this is the clamp as it sits on my tripod. Then I can take the, I can take the cigar box and use these to slide onto the clamp in that manner. So now we have the cigar box attached to the clamp. So this is what it would look, this is the clamp that's under here. And I can turn these little knobs underneath here. And the cigar box easel is now nice and tight. You can open it up, flip open the flap, put my, my, equipment panel, which is this item. With everything on it, everything's on there with either magnets or clips. And this also has the clamp on it on the bottom. So I can place this onto the tripod like that, flip the little lever, and now this is nice and solid. If I put the cigar box over on this side, like that. everything set up and I'm ready to paint. And here's what the underside looks like. There are the clamps. There's the clamp in the middle tripod like that and when I'm outside I'm ready to go I can take one of my brushes here I've got my water cup here the sponge is here the colors are here mixing space here Paper here. That, that is how it works. And once again, it all works off of this little clamp right here. So there are three of these. There's one in the middle and two on either ends that are attached to the boxes or the panels. They all work with a 15 millimeter sized rod. This is just a little stud that I happen to have, this one. But these holes here are 15 millimeter. These here, this is a quarter 20 threaded hole. These along here are also one quarter 20 threaded holes. So if you have the appropriate piece, you can screw it in like that for a quarter 20, but that's not how I did it, but that's just to let you know that 
These are designed to work with one quarter 20 studs. This one is where I attached the quick release plate. And voila, ready to roll.